Hey guys, it's Scott from Let's Play Easy Mode, and today we're gonna be diving back into the world, I believe for the very last time, of Halo Combat Evolved. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here, then welcome to the channel. And if you're one of our regulars, then welcome back. Today we're gonna to be diving in, I believe for the last time, into Halo Combat Evolved. We are going to be taking on the chapter uh, called The Maw, which from what I've read, uh, just spoiler free kind of stuff, uh, this is the last chapter. So I'm looking forward to seeing uh, where the story is going to go. Now I know that we are just in the first game of a long series of games. Uh, but as far as the story arc of this game, uh, I, I'm pretty sure we are heading towards at least trying to blow up Halo. Uh, previously in the last chapter, man, it was everybody was fighting the Flood, uh, the Covenant, us, everyone's battling it out. Uh, we went to go rescue Captain Keys, and we saw that Captain Keys is no longer alive. He was, uh, he actually looked like, like a dead fungus thing from like The Last of Us. He was all like caught up in all this alien goo, and he's like, Bleh, you know, and so uh, we actually had to take something out of his head. I'm not quite sure what Master Chief got was like a chip or something like that. He literally like punched into his head and broke it and had to take it out. It was nasty, but uh, that's where we've left off, and we're getting ready to do the final chapter which I believe is probably blowing up Halo is kind of what the strategy is here, uh, just to be able to save the rest of the universe, right? Because Halo has now unleashed um, the flood. And I mean, it wasn't the Halo did it. I think the tampering with, with Halo has done it. I am looking forward to seeing how the story is going to wrap up. And as we always do, uh, if the story does wrap up here in this episode, uh, stay around till the end. I'll give you kind of my own little rant and review of Halo and, and my review of this game. Uh, as far as, it doesn't hold any weight, right? But as far as Let's Play Easy Mode goes, we'll give it the Easy Mode review. Um, but before we dive into this, I just wanna say, if you enjoy these kinds of Let's Play videos and you've had a good time with the series so far, uh, I hope you have. If you have, make sure to click like on this video and let me know. Also, if you are not already a subscriber here, we are on our road to 1,000 subscribers and beyond, and we would love uh, to have you as a part. So go ahead and click that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber here. Come on in, join the family. It's an awesome community here at Let's Play Easy Mode, and it would be even more awesome with you. So click that subscribe button. If you wanna hang out with us more, you can do that by heading on over to Discord. The link for that is down in the description below. And of course, you can always check us out on Patreon by going to this link right here for $5 a month. You can get early release content because all of these videos that you see on YouTube uh, here, we put them on Patreon first and usually quite a bit first. So if you wanna stay ahead of the curve and not have to wait for them to come out but see them as they're being made, uh, then make sure to hop on over to Patreon. For $10 a month, you'll get all of that plus uh, exclusive content because because we're doing some game playthroughs over there uh, that are just for Patreon eyes only. And speaking of Patreon eyes only, one other thing that you can get at whatever level you sign up, we just started doing weekly live streams. So if you enjoy live streams, and you wanna hang out with us, it's a kind of an intimate setting, uh, just because it's just for Patreon, uh, uh, Patreon eyes only, the, the patrons over there, uh, then check it out. We do weekly live streams over there now as well, where we're just playing a game. Maybe sometimes we'll be playing uh, Breath of the Wild and just doing Korok hunting or it could be some other game that we play. Uh, sometimes we'll have the community vote on what to do. So if you want to check that out, make sure to come be a part of that as well. I do just want to say a very quick but very special thank you uh, to all of the current patrons over there at Patreon. I love you guys. I thank you so much for just uh, your support of the channel on a monthly basis. It is absolutely a privilege and an honor for me uh, to be able to have have that community over there with you guys and I just thank you so much for it. Uh, if you're out there and you're thinking, hey, I gotta get all these perks, I wanna dive in a little bit deeper with Let's Play Easy Mode, get shout outs in all of these videos, then make sure to hop on over and get signed up at Patreon today. All right guys, without further ado, I think we're kind of rounding third and heading home now with this particular game. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive back into the world of Halo Combat Evolved. 
Well, okay guys, we are getting ready to dive back into the world of Halo. We're gonna be starting this level, The Maw. Uh, actually, I uh, it's, it's saved right where we were. Um, so I didn't have to reload the game this time, which is really helpful. Uh, today we are gonna be drinking some toasted coconut. Now I will tell you uh, where I live in, in my part of the country. Uh, we just got slammed with some snow, and we've had some unusually warm weather recently where the snow's been melting away, but today we got slammed with some snow. It's super cold outside. I think it's only nine degrees with a wind chill, and uh, so I got a chance to go out there. I had to snow blow. I had to shovel. Get cold. My hands got so cold today, uh, and those of you who ex know what winter weather is, if you guys have experienced true winter weather, you know what I'm talking about when I say when your hands get so numbingly cold and then that soreness you get when you come back in the house and then you go right from real cold to, to like really, really warm uh, near like a heat source or something. And then you start to get almost that like internal achiness in your hands. Oh man, that is awful. But I'll tell you one thing that brings me comfort is this right here, a nice warm cup of coffee on a cold winter day in my Let's Play Easy Mode mug. These things, I'll tell you, mm, just being able to hold it. I love the size of the cup. You know, my hands are not not super big, but a little bigger. And and so when I put my hands around my, my Let's Play Easy Mode mug and I feel the warmth of that warm drink on a cold winter's day, oh man, there's nothing like it. Now you yourself can pick up one of these. This Let's Play Easy Mode mug is available. The link for it is down in the description below. Uh, it is $14, but you get a 14 ounce mug. 14 ounces for $14. It makes your coffee taste amazing. Uh, now, if your coffee doesn't taste amazing uh, in a Let's Play Easy mug, mug after you buy one, uh, just remember that it's not the mug's fault. You just probably buy crappy coffee, so you should just get better coffee. But yeah, this is great. Mm. Man, nothing like uh, going out there in the hard winter's day and then coming in and enjoying your favorite game uh, with, with something warm to drink. All right, here we go. Let's get into some Halo. And the horse you rode in on, okay. Is that a part of our ship? Oh. Let's see. It looks a little old to be our ship, unless it just burned up and that's why it looks that way. I don't know. I mean, it, it is. It did just say the horse you rode in on. Are we going? Is this our ship? I can't tell. That's great. I love the banter between Master Chief and Cortana. All right, let's do this. All right, what do we have? Oh, good, okay, we've got... Oh, we are ready to go, look at that. I'm actually gonna use this, I prefer this. We need to get to the bridge. From there, we can use the captain's neural implants to initiate an overload of the ship's fusion engines. Yep. Explosion should damage enough systems below it to destroy the ring. Okay, this is our ship. And it was a neural implant. Well, I want to look at the scenery for a minute. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, it does. There is a big difference there. Oh, shoot. Uh, oh my, okay. So those things are on the defense now. Yeah, I have to admit, for that, for the scenery, I really enjoy the, gra the uh, newer graphics on that part. 
Man, we were getting a little turned around in the first level when we were on this ship. I mean, there's no electricity now, I don't think, so... Oh, ah! <laughs> that jumped me! Oh, man! Okay. Can I blow them up from here and then they explode? Is anything coming up behind me? No. Well, I guess we gotta go down there and just blow them up. Gosh! Okay, there we go. Let's get our shield back up. Oh! Ah, man! Okay. There we go, we got more for the assault rifle. More battery, I like that. Man, it, it, it's, it, I think they did a good job of the fact that we are coming full circle. Now, we started this whole game on this ship and, uh, and now we're gonna, we're gonna end it on this ship. Music really picked up all of a sudden. There. Okay. Fun. There's a shotgun, but I'm gonna keep it with what I have right now. Got another grenade, that's good. There we go. Oh, we're stuck. There we go. Oh, all right. Tell you what, those grenades are a lifesaver. Oh, and I can hear the little guys from the Covenant. This way. There needs to be a time, maybe in the later games, it makes me wonder, like, in the later games, either Halo 2 or Halo 3, will we eventually be on the same team? It just makes sense for us to team with the Covenant, unless the Flood aren't going to be a thing. I, I don't know. Maybe the Flood is uh, is like a Halo 1 kind of thing, but, I, I like, it says we're supposed to destroy Halo before Halo destroys all life in the galaxy. So if we destroy Halo, I mean, I, I mean, I guess, I don't know. I mean, I would assume that when they made this game... They made it and hoped it would stick to the wall, and then there would be a Halo 2 and a Halo 3, but I would imagine that they at least made this story arc kind of resolve a little bit, so maybe we do blow up Halo, but if we blow up Halo, can there be a Halo 2? I don't know. Okay. Oh, oh, they're behind us. They're behind us. Oh, yeah. Got 
gotcha. Ooh, okay. He's shooting the big stuff over here. No, he's not. Did we get a replace? Oh, let's get those. Yep. Lots of grenades. We like that. Now, uh... This has only got 25, so I was hoping to get a replacement for it. Oh, wait. That, there it is. I'll take that. I think this has been my favorite gun. Man, this ship has seen better days, eh? Okay, you got it, Cortana. Man, we got a lot of grenades we can, uh, lying around. We can just keep using them. I need you to upload the internet. Oh, goodness. The terminal is located next to the main view screen. Okay. This is oh, this is the deck we were on when we started the game, isn't it? I leave home for a few days and look what happens. <laughs> this won't take long. There, that should give us enough time to make it to a lifeboat and put some distance between ourselves and Halo before the detonation. Okay. I'm afraid that's out of the question, really. I uh, knew he wasn't dead. Ridiculous! That you would imbue a warship's AI with such a wealth of knowledge. Weren't you worried it might be captured or destroyed? He's in my data arrays, a local tab. You can't imagine how exciting this is to have a record of all of our lost time. Human history, is it? Fascinating. Man, I knew he was still alive because I never saw us actually kill him. In that two betrayals level. Oh, how I will enjoy every moment of its categorization. You would destroy this installation as well as this record. I am shocked. Almost too shocked for words. He stopped the self destruct sequence. Why do you continue to fight us, Reclaimer? You cannot win. Give us the construct, and I will endeavor to make your death relatively famous. And at least I still have control over the comm channels. <laughs> Where is he? I'm detecting taps throughout the ship. Sentinels, most likely. As for the monitor, He's in engineering. He must be trying to take the core offline. Even if I could get the countdown restarted, I don't know what to do. How much firepower would you need to crack one of the engine shields? Not much. A well-placed grenade, perhaps, but why? Oh, boy. Okay, I'm coming with you. <laughs> Chief, sentinels! Did we get Cortana? Okay. We got them. And we got her. So let's get out of here. Man, this place looks so much better in the beginning of the game. The ship was heavily damaged when it crashed. Head to the cryo chamber. We should be able to get to the engine room through there. You know, I will say, like, so seeing the first, the first part of this game was very iconic. Like, you know, that first level, I know a lot of people have played it, you know, even if you never played the entire version of the game, everyone, you know, so many people were like, I talked to a lot of people who were like, oh yeah, you know, even if I've never finished Halo, I've always played that first level, you know. So seeing the ship like this, uh, you know, after we played, you know, on here, I don't know, it just seems very... You know, the way that, like, you would... I mean, this is a dumb comparison, but, like, if you're going under the water for, like, exploration and you see the Titanic underwater and you see it all ruined, it's kind of haunting to see those images when you think of what it was, that one time it was above water and had all these people on it, and then you see it. It's always very haunting to me. So whenever I see a wrecked ship like this, uh, it's... That you was like, you know, something you were all on and you have these memories of what it used to look like. 
you know. I don't know, that's just me. I felt that way in Mass Effect 2 when you got to, um... Well, I don't want to spoil Mass Effect for anybody if they've never experienced it, but... There's a scene in Mass Effect whoa, where you get to see an old ship. Oh. Man, these guys are coming out of the... Well, there's not really any wood. I was going to say the woodwork. Ooh, we could use a replacement for this. Well, let's see what else we have for a gun. I thought I saw a gun over here. Oh, that's just more, um... Assault rifle. More assault rifle. Alright. Really? Can't get any of these? I, I thought those were shotguns. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, they are there. Okay. I was wondering if those are just like there for decoration. Ah, here we go. There's no bullets in this. There we go. Well, I guess we're going with that. Ooh, replacement. I do like these covenant weapons. Oh boy. We'll take it. All right, there we go. More grenades. Yes, please. All right. Is that one got more? Oh, it doesn't really pop up, so. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Let's let those guys kick out all the little poppers. While we have a sip of our coffee. Okay. Got him. Man. It's kind of fun to pop him off. There's, there's more. And, and, there we go. I know I'm kind of wasting ammo here, but it's fun. And that's what we're trying to do, is have fun. Oh, wait. More? Well, not much, but a little bit. I couldn't tell what that was for a minute. I was like, wait, is that an enemy? All right. Well, let's keep going, guys.
There's a war going on! Let's let them kill each other. That's one advantage of having the uh, being enemies with the Covenant and the Flood and them being enemies with each other. Is uh, just let them kill each other and then come on in. We'll pick it up. Do your thing. There you go. Is there more? Is that it? I think so. I hear something. I hear more enemies. Uh, I'll tell you what, the carnage is incredible here. Okay. Can we collect anything? Let's see if there's any ammo or just a better, uh, more charged up gun. I don't think so. Up the ladder. Oop, there goes the music. Can I fall down there? Oh no. Oh goodness. Boy, they can shoot me through the glass. Go, oh, boy. What just happened? What just happened? Any of that was, guys. How? Did I somehow trigger something? Oh, the use terminal. That's what that was. Okay. That so that was like um in the first level, I think it was the second level, I had found one of those terminals, and you guys were telling me that those aren't in the original game. Those were something that's worth uh, looking after you've beaten the game. 
uh, maybe, but uh, that some of them could actually be spoiling uh, the game as well. So I don't know. To be honest, none of that made any sense to me. Um, I, maybe I just need to sit down and, and watch it again uh, another time, but I, I had no idea kind of what was going on there. I'm just trying to get reloaded. There's a lot of bad guys. Man, I guess. This thing, uh, Burns through ammo pretty quickly. Ah, you My goodness. Are we done? Okay. Oh, wow, that was intense. That was really intense. Um, make sure this is good to go. Okay. Wait, there's more! Oh, goodness! Re no kidding! See, the music stopped, so I just figured we were good now. Wow. Oh, <laughs> oh that spooked me. Wow, where'd the music go? Ah, oh, more of those big guys. I'll just let these guys fight it out for a little bit, I guess. Wow. Oh, 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 no, I'm getting this. I thought those guys were blown up by now. There's more of those. Man, we are getting it literally on both sides here. Oh, you know what? Okay. Uh, come on, pick up pick up the grenade why is it not picking stuff up oh 
Oh my. Now can I get that grenade? Oh look at that, I'm all full now. I'm getting pretty low on energy, I gotta be careful. I need a health pack. Is there ever an end? Gosh, I gotta think I am really close to dying. Word, just die already. There we go. Need some, uh, I don't know if I have uh, any ammo. This isn't one of those kinds of things, right, where you can. Oh, no, wrong one. Ah, uh, bummer. All right, well, I wasted that, but I'm sure we'll get more. I was trying to see if there was a button that we could use if we were collecting those med packs along the way. Huh. Well, I guess we're going this way. I just go in a circle? No! Or maybe I did. Yeah, actually. They're all coming back out here again. My goodness. Got a little turned around. Man, these guys won't stop. There we go. <gasps> Armory. Okay. Well. Wow. Oh, hey now. Whoa! One of those cloak guys. Is this one of those you got to Oh! Okay. Okay. Gotta be careful of those ones. Oh. Okay. We got plenty of assault rifle. I might need this. Uh, the it's probably offering me a rocket launcher because that's what I'm gonna need eight rounds huh I bet you we're gonna need it that's why it's offering it Okay, here we go. You were just hiding up there waiting for me. Is this really uh, a dead end? I guess so. Can't really get through there, so. Here we go, guys. So I guess we are going to go down here. Really? Uh, 
I... I don't know. Where are they keep coming in from? How are they getting in? From over here? I don't know. I'm lost. I don't know where I'm going. They can't get in there. I hear another one of those little popper guys. My word, where are they all coming from? They have to be getting in somewhere unless it's just video game magic. Just to make it harder. Like, where are they coming in? I'm assuming they're coming in from here, right? So how do I get in there? That's clearly where they're coming from, but... I guess every time I go back, well, that just sort of kind of reset that and that door will open and I can't go in there, but that's where they're coming from. I don't know, guys. If I, I maybe I'm in a totally different a wrong area now. It's not this because we've done this already. Not that either. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, wait a minute. No, isn't this where I just went? Oh my goodness, no, okay. Now I feel f silly. Light fuse, run away. Sounds like uh, we're getting close to the end. Engine room located. We're here. Alert. The monitor has disabled all command access. We can't restart the count now. The only remaining option is to detonate the ship's fusion reactors. That should do enough damage to destroy Halo. Don't okay. worry, I have access to all of the reactor schematics and procedures. Okay. I'll walk you through it. Great. First, we need to pull back the exhaust couplings. That will expose a shaft that leads to the primary fusion drive core. Up there. Well, let's get climbing. Inconsistent. Oh, we got a boss fight coming here, guys. Daggum! All right. How do I get up there? Uh, stairs? Is there any way to get to the third floor? Why, yes. Great, now, how do I, uh, how do I get from here to there? This way. This doesn't do as good as the Covenant guns when it comes to these things. can't get on top. I figured... Oh, wait. A little bit of parkour actions required here. Good. Step one complete. 
We have a straight shot into the fusion reactor. We need a catalyst explosion to destabilize the magnetic surrounding the fusion system. Use an explosive. I recommend a grenade or rocket. If you run out of explosives, there is an armory station located near the engine room's entrance. Down there. Okay. That's why we got the rocket. That's why we got it. That work? I ain't working. Okay, I missed what I was supposed to do, apparently. Ah, uh, come on. Dang it. Oh, I wish it didn't take so long to, uh, to reload. Ugh. I got the wrong gun. You must surrender the construct. There we go. There we go. Engine reactor number one destabilizing. Use explosives on the other three reactors. That should be enough to trigger a wildcat explosion of the engine. My goodness, how are you supposed to survive when you, oh man, I'm, I will say, I know a lot of people said that they like the uh, classic assault rifle. It's been actually, of all the guns so far, my least favorite. Um, I really like that Covenant one that I was using. That uh, it was almost like a Covenant laser or uh, machine gun almost. Gosh! Oh, I'm never gonna make it. I can't even imagine trying to play this on anything, any other difficulty than what I'm doing right now. Come on, open up, open up. Ah. Keep it up. Only one more fusion reactor to go. Really? Where's that fusion reactor? This one? I guess so. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Open up, open up! Oh! Outside and signal for evac. Accessing schematics. There's a service lift at the top of the engine. It leads to a class Son seven. Son of a gun. That runs along the ship's dorsal structure. Hurry. Uh, where? Oh, come on! Give me like a GPS thing here. I need another one of those uh, red. Like, where's the indicator arrow thing? I need that. Ah, there it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Boy, you would think Master Chief could run to get out of here, huh?
Well, I'm not getting up there that way. Come on. How do I... Ah. All right, so I, I guess I need to get up here. And... Uh... Then get up here. And then... Come on! Oh, man! Come on! I can't do this with the reloading. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Um. And bummer. Okay. Oh my word! It's so incredibly stressful. Jump! Oh my word! It's like I just became Link from Breath of the Wild. I have to go all the way back to the top. Oh. I don't know, guys. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Look at my, I've got like no health. They're coming out of the woodwork. And then I gotta try to climb. Oh, come on. Ah, come on, no! I need to get out of here. Get out of my way. They're just like magically appearing. Ah! Ah! I didn't do it. it ah, I hit the button. I hit the button, but it didn't jump. Oh! Whew, I gotta take a break. This game's stressing me out now. Ah, oh, man. I just want to, I want to get to the end, and uh, it's too hard. All right, let's see. Oh, I'm so tired of this never-ending influx of enemies. It's like, and this gun, I hate this gun. How in the world am I supposed to get up here? Oh, come on! I'm, if I die, is it gonna reset everything I just did? Oh, come on! I, no. Nope. No! Ah! Ah! It's not supposed to be like this. We're supposed to be a calm and chill and cool channel, right? That's what you guys are always telling me. And I can't be calm and chill right now. I did this before. Oh my gosh. You mean to tell me that's the only way up there? There's gotta be a ramp, right? Why didn't they design it with a ramp? I mean, everybody who worked on this ship, is that how they were supposed to climb up to the third level? Like, where's the ramp to get up there? You can't tell me. There can't be a ladder or something. Okay. Now, I gotta get back up here. Come on, there we go. There we ah! Ah, come on, no, 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 no. Was that open? Yes, yes, okay. But that's not where, where we need to go, though. That's the thing. Oh, come on. Give me that arrow. Oh, it's over there. Can I can I get over there from going this way? Is this the ramp I was talking about? It is, isn't it? Son of a gun. Oh, it's on the other side. Okay. So, this way. Oh. 
I'm gonna burn to death. Ah! Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, good. Oh! Oh, no! Sorry, I have to reload my gun. Can you just stand there for a minute? Oh, thank you. Okay. A much better gun. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, good. Okay. Door is climbing. Or, uh, shutting. I'm gonna climb in the elevator. Alright. Ooh, sorry there. That was stressful. That was so stressful. Okay. I'm good. Help if we could run. Is there a vehicle? Yes. Come on, go, 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 no! What are you doing? Get out of here! Get in the driver's side! Oh, come on, we're good! Alright, alright, here we go, here we go! Quick, go up the ramp. It wants me to go up the ramp, I bet. This is not working! Oh, come on! Oh, I. Not my favorite driving mechanics for sure. Alright, here we go. Come on, get up! What do you lack the horsepower? Let's go, let's go, let's go! Don't stay on track! Come on! I hate you! Oh, okay. Uh oh, wait a minute. Uh, come on, come on. No! On the wrong side! Oh, uh, just Okay. Guys, I'm seriously stuck. Alright. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Oh, my word. I I feel like the driving mechanics on the Warthog, and I know if you're someone, I would be curious to find out. Here's I don't want any arguing in the comments, but I would be curious if you're someone, I, there's probably not a lot of you guys out there like me. Uh, who have who are experiencing this game for the first time now? But I would be curious if any modern gamers, like if you grew up on this, or like you played this when it first came out, and so better driving mechanics weren't really invented yet, and in, uh, and in, in a lot of the more modern games, 
like it makes me wonder and i know that's gonna be a polarizing argument and there's gonna be people who are i don't want anyone to be offended by that by that statement but like i'm so used to modern games you know for the last like I, i'm not someone who just stayed playing old games i've always kind of just played whatever is new and i've always enjoyed the way that games have evolved and um i would be curious how if, if am i the only one that hates this like was it someone who like if i know if this is all you ever knew and you got used to it and you were like no they were great those are classic nostalgic controls um or if there's anybody out there who's also new to it who also said yeah no you're right it was frustrating trying to you know if you're used to the way things are now it was used to it was hard to go back you know and and learn this style of uh of driving because i feel like this could be such a cool ending and cool level if you could have better control of the vehicle and and like really drive fast and get through this it would be such a thrill ride but i'm getting way too hung up on just the clunkiness of it so that's what i would be curious because i want this to be way more dramatic than it is i want this to offer like i don't know it's just not doing it for me like i want this to be like a big finale whoa here we go drive 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 kind of thing and it's not it's just kind of clunky and slow paced and more frustrating trying to drive it you know like like this it's just you can't really it's hard to steer like unless you just you've been playing this game for 20 years and you're just used to this it's not that fun um And of course, I'm just sitting here getting destroyed the whole time while I'm trying to, think, you know, get this to steer and accelerate and do that. It's really kind of taken the wind out of this being like an exciting, fun final level. Like, I feel like this should be a big dramatic escape, and instead, it's just kind of like dum 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 dum. -dum. Uh, it's just like guys like this is this is crazy come on now oh like if this was the kind of thing that had modern driving controls where like right trigger was your acceleration and it drove more you know, like a modern game. All right, get me out of here. But there's just this idea that the right stick is what you use to steer it, and you accelerate it with the left stick. Not my favorite. That's not what I needed. All right. I thought that was a ship I needed to drive into. Oh, come on. Okay, here we go. Wait, stop. This is where Fohammer is coming to pick us up. Hold position here. Okay. Cortana to Echo 419. Let's enter the driver. Okay. She's approaching on your six. Evade. Say again, evade. What's going on? Oh! Echo 419! She's gone. Calculating alternate escape route. Ah! There we go. Ship's inventory shows one long port fighter still docked in Mod Bay 7. If we move now, we can make it. I'm assuming we have to go. Do I drive? Oh, come on! I guess not. 
Ah, oh, man, these clunky, no-run kind of games. That was my biggest f uh, thing with Fallout, was the fact there wasn't a run button. I'm not gonna make it, I gotta drive this. Can I, is there another car, or I guess I have to go back and get this one. Okay, I will if it doesn't flip over off the side. Come on. Oh my word. All right, uh, come on. the fusion drives detonate we need to evac now Activating i thought we had six minutes to begin with countdown timer when it reaches zero the engines will detonate the explosion will generate a temperature of almost 100 oh my gosh we died it's starting us over i thought for a second i'm like why did i all of a sudden just appear i thought i made it to where i was going oh i gotta do that all over again Really? Serious? When it blows. I was, um, I didn't realize we had died. That's crazy. Okay. I've got to do this all over again. Really? There was not even a checkpoint? And I got to do it in the fire. Did we not make it? What, did the time run out? Yeah, okay, the time ran out. All right, sorry, I... Oh, guys, okay, let me explain before everybody starts hating me in the comments. Well, you're blind, you can't see anything. There's a timer in the bottom right corner. I was just so focused on driving that where I am, my TV screen is down here. And uh, I just didn't see that the timer wasn't like, it wasn't like an obvious thing to me. Uh, so that's why I didn't realize that. I heard six minutes and I was looking for a timer up here and I was like, why wasn't there? I guess it's not really like six minutes, but I guess it was six minutes. So we ran out of time. Uh, and now I gotta try to do this in six minutes with these clunky old data controls. Oh, wow. All right, come on. Guys, I... Come on, come on, get down, get down. Oh, come on, take the turn. This is seriously like trying to do a future sci-fi action scene driving like a 1979 Dodge Aspen station wagon. That's pretty much what it feels like. Oh my word, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. There's, oh my word, the flipping and the, this totally takes you out of the fun experience of what this should be. Man, 
again, you know, that's one thing they should have done with this game is they should have, uh, when they did the remaster, they should have slapped some modern controls on this that make it a little easier to drive. So it actually drives like a... I'm sorry. I, I know I'm absolutely infuriating the uh, Halo purists out there, but... Trust me, as painful as it is for you to watch this, it's probably doubly painful for me to play it. Um, it was so good until this point. <laughs> Come on, really? I'm not gonna make it, guys. I'm just not gonna make it with... Can I get up there? No. Ah, oh, come on. This is probably the most frustrating game I've played in a year. Uh, this level, up to this point, I've loved the Halo experience. Right now, it's miserable. This, I've always heard modern gamers say, that Halo's driving controls were what kept them away from Halo. And uh, and I, I get it, guys. I get it. And again, I, I know there's going to be people that are like, well, that's just because you suck. You know, I'm just used to something far more intuitive. Uh, you know, it's to me, it doesn't make sense to have this stick be the accelerator and this to be the what turns it. And then it just floats in the air and it gets bumped around like the car only weighs four pounds. And uh, it's supposed to be a tank, you know, and it's, or not a tank, but like a military grade uh, heavier vehicle, I would think. And, and it just seems like it's so frustrating trying to drive it through this, and especially the way these levels are designed, because I'm just, there's no real clear path. Uh, and maybe there is, like when you see some of the ramps that you go up on or whatever, but the car, it, it's just so hard to get the car up there. Um, I wish that there were better driving controls. That's something they should have done. They definitely should have, I think, probably reworked some of this. But then, you know, there's going to be the old-time Halo purists that hate it as well. Guys, this it's funny because I, up to this point... I've enjoyed my Halo experience, but... Uh, this has... Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on! Okay. We got just under two minutes. Okay, this is where we were. This is where Fohammer is coming to pick us up. No, I want to get it here. Cortana to Echo 419. Two Covenant Banshees are approaching on your six. Evade. Did I? So I made it here on time. So it wasn't the time ran out. Right? How did it get reset? Say again, Evade. Gone. Calculating alternate escape route. Ship's inventory shows okay, it is the time. Dang, all right. We can make it. Guys, that is not a lot of time at all. Come on, come on. I can't get it turned off the scraping the wall there. Oh, man. Uh, that should have been a checkpoint, though. When I ran out, when you hit that point, that would have been nice to have it as some sort of checkpoint. 
Come on. Come on! Ah, I can't get it to go. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is ugly. This is really ugly. Up ahead, there's a gap in the trench. At top speed, we should be able to clear it. I can't get it to go straight. I don't know about that. Um... I thought I was supposed to clear it! No, we're running out of time again! Oh my gosh, 20 seconds! Come on, come on, come on! Come on! Uh, you stink, you stink, I hate you so much! Oh, come on! I can't. Negative, negative. <sighs> I ain't gonna lie to you guys. This is totally 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 killed my review of this game <laughs> um these controls are so hard to drive and i get it if you if you are someone who uh had a, an xbox early on and this is what you've always known and you've played halo for the last 20 years you probably have lost any sense of understanding of what i'm talking about um, but this is bad. This is really bad. Like, and the fact that it keeps starting me over and I have to do it, like, there's not even a checkpoint here. Like, there's nothing. I'm going to try it one more time. And then I, I, I might just, we just might watch a video and react to how it ends uh, that way. I don't know. I, I, I'm sorry, guys, uh, if I'm upsetting you. I'm sorry if... But uh, this is absolute, uh, this is this is painful, like trying to play this level. It's, I want it to be so much more. I want it to be an exciting escape, you know? I want it to feel like I'm, whoa, I'm really going. But I can't because it's like I'm, I'm, it's like I'm driving a, a teacup at the, uh, at the fair, you know? It's unbelievable. We have a wildcat destabilization of the ship's fusion core. The engines must have sustained damage than we thought. Analyzing. We have six minutes before the fusion drive detonates. We need to evac now. Creating final countdown time. When it reaches zero, the engines will detonate. The explosion will generate a temperature of almost 100 million degrees. Don't Alright, now stop with the flippy crap. Oh, come on. I don't get it. Is there a turbo button or something that... Because every time it feels like I should be making a big jump, there's not really a way to accelerate the car, right? And it's so lightweight. That's what's so ridiculous about it. It shouldn't be just flipping around like it's a... It, it feels like I'm trying to... I'm, it's like I'm in the military and we're in space and we're doing this on an RV. The, not an RV. Uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, RTV. That's what it is. It feels like I'm, I'm riding like a, just an RTV in the backyard on like a snowmobile trail. It... All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And then it slows down every time. Ah, oh, dang it. Dang it. Okay. No, come on. Uh. How 
did they ever make a second game? I'm sorry. I know that would really. I, 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 okay, I gotta just be quiet and play because now I'm like, how did anybody play this level and want to do this again? I can't. Oh my goodness. This is. It's like ice skating. It's not even like driving a car. It's like ice skating when you've never ice skated before. Would it be easier if I did this? Oddly it is, I think. Ah, they had to stick that thing right in there. Right in the middle, so you gotta drive around the sides. camera twist with the steering it's like Screw that! I'm not stick. I'm not holding position for anything. I don't have any time. Cortana to Echo 419. Two Covenant Banshees are approaching on your six. Evade. Say again. Evade. Echo 419. She's gone. Calculating alternate escape route. Or he shows one long sword fighter is still docked in launch base seven. I'm really glad it didn't now, require me to stay there. That means nothing! No, no! Ugh. Oh, I hate this so much. Come on, turn around! We got a minute, we got a minute! Is it gonna... I quit. I quit. <laughs> it's forget it. I'm done. Oh my goodness. Oh. This is so brutal. This is so brutal. I don't even know what to say. It's so insanely frustrating. Like, I want it to, to offer, you know, like, I want to be able to hit the right trigger. I want to be able to just steer with this and 
right trigger it and you know maybe i don't know i just i want to feel more like i'm driving a car in a game that's been recently made and I, it's this is the the weirdest way to design driving dynamics they did something like this with mass effect and the first as much as i love mass effect um uh if you've ever played mass effect they did this with the mako same idea but even the mako wasn't this bad um but the mako was bad it was bad guys i don't know what to do honestly um here's the thing i'm gonna do Uh, I don't want to just quit on this game series. We're literally on the last run. Um, what I don't want to do is I know I have probably already said some things and done some things out of my own frustration that's just really going to upset a lot of the people who have been faithful to watch this series because they love Halo. And I will tell you, up until this point, I have loved Halo. Um, but the longer I play like this it's going to come across that i don't um and i will tell you at this point right now i hate the game <laughs> based on this level uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna stop recording and i'm just gonna try to get this and if i can get to it when i get to the end we will we will react to it together uh you know but um i'm not gonna continue recording myself getting a so upset at something that so many of you love so much. Oh, come on! Come on, get over it! Guys, this is unbelievable! Come on, now I'm on fire? Oh, my word. This has been the worst. I can't! Oh my gosh! Get me out of here! Go, 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 go! I'm pretty sure driving isn't gonna work here. Oh. Well, now I wanna see this on the new graphics, not on these OG graphics, but. We're cutting it close! Guys, that was the most grueling thing I've done on the channel so far. Here we go. gonna work? Is it gonna blow up Halo? The only way I could do it was to turn on the original graphics because everything else, I don't know, it just seemed to be somewhat easier to steer, but... Shut them down, we'll need them later. Still not great, for sure. See a look. We did it. We blew up Halo. Oh man, I would have liked to have seen this with newer graphics. I wish there was a way to toggle them during a cutscene. Did anyone else make it? Off to YouTube it. Scanning. So I'm never playing that level again. <laughs> We're all that's left. We did what we had to do for Earth. An entire Covenant Armada obliterated and the Flood. We had no choice. Wow. Halo, it's finished. No, I think we're just getting started. Oh. Took off his mask. It's Pedro Pascal. Okay. 
we did what we had to do according to Cortana but oh man I would have loved to have seen what this looked like with new graphics I'm sure that would have been pretty looking I'll YouTube it That's it? No credits? No like, hey, you you did it. Yeah, credits. That's what I want. That's its idea of credits. What? You click credits and it brings you to the Huh? Okay. Well, there we go. That was very anticlimactic. No, like, credits at, at the end of the game. It just does that. Huh. I don't know. I, you know, I feel a little robbed now because I will, I'm just one of those guys that when you've gone through everything to beat a game, when they put credits at the end and you see them rolling, there's just this feeling of victory and satisfaction. You're at the end of the story, you know, and you sit back and you, I watch the credits, I do. And I always enjoy, you know, in new games now, a lot of times you'll get post-credit scenes, but then again, I, I mean, I forget this game's over 20 years old. So I mean, it's possible they didn't even have credits in a game like this, but it had to end somehow. No, they had to, they had credits. I mean, I, they had credits on games like Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo back then. So there had to be something. I used to enjoy the credits on Streets of Rage 2. There, so there had to have been credits. Were there originally credits at the end of this game? I don't know. All right, guys, uh, that's the end of this episode. So let's go ahead and talk about the game. Well, okay, guys, that's going to do it um, for this episode, and that's going to do it for this series. Um, man, I, I'm trying to process all of this, you know. Usually, I have a real sense of, like, wow, you know, when, when I end a game that's big and epic, you know, like I said, I, there's always that feeling of... And I think any of you guys, if you followed this channel and you have watched me finish a game series on here, there's always that sense of victory right you know you come to that end where you you're like wow i've been through so much with the story of this game and now i'm gonna sit back and process it think about what i've seen the ending um the credits are rolling and you're just soaking it all in right um wow i feel completely robbed of that experience to be honest <laughs> Um, and I don't, I, I, I don't give it the excuse, now that I think about it, I wouldn't really say, well, it's an older game, they didn't, there were games far older back in the old Super Nintendo games, I mean, almost everything I ever played back then, even if it didn't have a huge cutscene at the end, it still gave you credits, and it still gave you this sense of finality, um, this just kind of felt like it ended. You know, it was like, yep, Halo's blown up, you see it blow up, you're in the car, and then boom, that's it. You know, you're like, oh, I think, I don't think it's over yet. And then there was no, now, so here's what I'm wondering. Let me know in the comments. I, I can also Google it too. I would be curious if the original Halo had a more climatic ending. Because uh, 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 this just, I will be honest with you. Absolutely one of the weakest things for me was the ending of the game. Um, this level was so painstaking to to have to go through and it's too bad it was that last driving level you know where you're in the warthog and you've got to make a beeline for it you know you're on a timer but that just felt like or just an, uh, like it was intended to just be mean and hard and not fun and thrilling um and i was really want i think that's what i wanted out of it was i wanted a more thrill ride kind of thing like oh here we go we're gonna get off this thing Woo! will smith sitting there going i heard a fat lady singing you know like from independence day like i wanted that and and what i got was like riding my daughter's power wheels car 
that just keeps bouncing around and, and like every single time anything brushed up against it, it got tipped over or bumped. It was really hard to drive and go straight. Like that was so frustrating. And so, um, yeah, that, that really, I will say that up until this point, I've really enjoyed the game. And then that last level just took me out of it. It really did. It just absolutely sucked the joy out of my experience uh, with the game, which is, is too bad. Um, all in all, though, it was a positive experience with Halo. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to think, like, if Halo had been released, I'm just thinking philosophical questions here, not really philosophical. And these kinds of questions are gonna irritate people and I apologize for that. I wonder if Halo had been released today, if it would have taken off as much. In comparison to what we have now, if you had taken that and that like that remaster game, if that had been released for the first time um, today in 2023, would Halo launch an entire series? Like, would it be good enough to do that? Um, you know, or did this just catch on because it's kind of was the innovator in so many ways of this, this style? Um, you know, I don't know, you know, I, it's, it's hard for me to think I, I, and picture it, but, uh, I will tell you all in all, it was a positive experience, um, playing Halo and, and meeting some of the people in the Halo community since going ahead and taking this over. Um, I, I thank a lot of you guys who have watched the series on the channel and, um, you know, I'm, I'm curious with the story, how this is going to unfold now that Halo's been destroyed. Um, you know, very interesting. Still, uh, I don't know. It just, I wish that it wasn't such a bad taste in my mouth on a few different things. You know, the game mechanics, the story in the level, like the last level, I guess I was kind of hoping for a little bit more, but I guess you got to play Halo 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 or whatever to really get into it you know, as it continues expanding. I'm sure the later games, I'd be curious, do the war, like if you play Halo Infinite, does the Warthog still have those controls? Is that just a Halo thing? I don't know. So uh, here, I'll talk about the game. I know we're, we're closing at the end of the series here. And uh, and so I'll give you my, my final thoughts. Um, let me start off with the positive. Uh, the positive I think was the, the idea, the concept, um, you know, it was, you know, also I have to I have to keep reminding myself that this game came out over 20 years ago. Um, so putting myself in the place of someone who maybe just freshly bought an Xbox, who, you know, did that taking a big chance because who knows if Microsoft was gonna do well in the video game console market. Um, and, and, and you get Halo and you're like, wow, this is really something, you know, like the story and the, this is cool. Like getting some of those, I, I do re remember hearing people talk about, no, the cutscenes, like when the, you know, the, you know, you see the ship flying in the very beginning, the pillar of autumn and not a lot of video games had that, you know? So, I mean, I can see how that was really kind of a big deal. And, um, and, and I would say that, that, you know, probably the story as it unfolded, um, you know, I, yeah, I mean, I would give that its high, you know, the high point of it, of the series. Um, up for the most part, the, you know, the easy mode was an easy mode. Um, that was probably, for me, that's not a complaint at all, maybe for you guys, um, but like, for the most part, I usually saw a pretty big gap between easy and normal. Uh, which I didn't mind because compared to some of the other hard things we've done before on the channel, it was actually kind of nice to just take a shorter game and relax with it. Um, I think I remember I remember mentioning in the game earlier on that it was uh, something that was you know relaxable for me to play. Um, you know, the, I, I thought the uh, the I the idea of the covenant and the flood and all of that really cool concept so the story the world that's the highlight of the game you know i would definitely put that up in there around that you know uh eight or nine uh kind of rank if i was going to rank that um graphics you know i i like we've said this before i think the older graphics lined up better with a certain mood um where the newer graphics on the remaster just were very bright and they looked pretty, but they did change the mood of the game. 
Um, I would have liked to have seen that last cutscene though that we experienced with the newer graphics. That would have been cool. Um, but other than that, guys, I think, you know, graphically it was kind of, you know, it, it's a remaster of an older game. So, you know, the new graphics were pretty, but they were kind of a fresh coat of paint on something old, uh, you know. So by today's standards, I'd give those, you know, like a seven. Uh, that's just my opinion, right? I mean, this, yeah, I have nothing to really truly line this up with and and uh, and and say this qualifies for this ranking or that. Um, the weakest part of the game for me, as stated in this episode, uh, but this has been kind of my problem with it from the beginning, is just that it's the game mechanics. The game mechanics are the weakest part for me. Um, and and uh, I think my problem with it was... Um, the obviously the driving was the worst part um you know the uh you know i, I would say i mean the the first person controls were basic first person controls for the most part um that that felt like playing any other first person game with fairly modern controls um uh, but but the driving aspect of this was so clunky so clunky um, so, you know, I will say that that, that, that really took me out of the experience. And it wasn't as bad on some of those early levels where it, it didn't rely, you know, you could, you had kind of more open space outside to drive around. So skating a lightweight car around wasn't that big of a deal where that last level was just a nightmare, uh, to try to get through. I, I got to imagine I'm not the only one who got frustrated with that level. Um, you know, I would be curious how many of you guys, even when it, you guys who were more experienced with the game, you know, maybe when you were playing it, you know, how many of you guys struggled to get through that, that ending? Um, you know, I, I don't know. It's, uh, I, the game mechanics were really clunky and dated. Um, you know, um, I, I gotta think that if that game was made today, some of those things would be different if it was made for the first time. Um, if not, I'm not sure how many people would have actually enjoyed it and taken to it. I don't know. I would be, like I said, I'm curious now about the new games, the new Halo games, how, um, how they would, you know, if they've been changed at all, or if that's just something they're like, hey, we've always done it this way. Let's keep it that way. I don't know. So guys, I'm kind of rambling, um, a little bit more than usual when it comes to the end of a game, because I'm still trying to process everything that just happened. Um, I was, I really had the fun of it. I, I, for me, I, I like the storybook ending where you get the credits and it's rolling and I didn't get that. I felt a little, I, that might just be a, a Master Chief remaster, though I don't know why they would take that out if that's the case. Um, so I might look that up too. Um, Cause to me that gives you the, the ending of the game way to kind of just, okay, decompress and I've done it. It's the end of the movie, it's the end of the game. I'm watching the credits roll, whoo, okay. And then it just threw me right into the menu screen. I was like, uh, I don't know. I, I'm still trying to come down off the ending here, but. Um, so, like I said, it, my overall ranking of this game, the mechanics hit, hit it hard for me. Um, the story was good. The graphics were kind of okay. Um, you know, they, you know, the, again, there, I didn't really know how to process the graphics because the older graphics set a mood, but they're really old and the newer graphics looked pretty, but they kind of took away from the mood. Um, so I don't know really quite what to think of that, to be honest. Um, but overall, because of that, because of that, and really, like I said, this last level and, and, and all of that, I will say, uh, I, 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 I'm not, I, this is not a game that resonates with me as much as other people. And maybe it's just that I jumped on the Halo train way too late. Um, that said, I, I've gotta say, I'm gonna give Halo more of like a seven and a half to an eight. Um, you know, I, I, I don't, please don't be hurt by that. Please don't. I want to be honest with you. I want to be transparent with you. Um, it might just be me. Maybe it's me and my lackluster ability sometimes with games. Uh, or maybe I'm just too spoiled on some of the, the way that new games kind of baby you through stuff. But um, 
I will say that that personally for me, with the game mechanics being so clunky, uh, you know, it was it it kind of that one didn't sit well with me. So while the experience has been the first person aspect of it's been fun, the story's been fun. Um, that's why you know um, I, I would still keep it up there. Maybe at the most, I'd give it around that eight kind of thing, an eight out of ten, uh, maybe a seven and a half. It's, I think maybe I just hit the Halo train too late. Um, maybe it's just one of those things like you had to be there in 2001, you know? I don't know. Um, or whenever it came out. But uh, guys, I, I, again, I hope I haven't offended anybody too much. I, I know there's a lot of people that really, this is considered one of the top 10 video games of all time because of its impact with the culture and what it launched after that. It was really what put Xbox on the map. Um, and I respect that and I love it. Um, if, but but eh, I, 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 I'm, I'm pretty firmly for me anyway it's a it's a solid seven and a half or eight I think overall ranking on this game will I play continue playing the trilogy I am curious where it's gonna go with the story I just hope the game mechanics uh, got improved in game number two and game number three let me know in your comments be, be nice to me be gentle remember my 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 the things I hated it wasn't you it was the game so so be nice to me uh, <laughs> um, but but yeah let me know what your experiences were I'd love to know how many people struggled through this last mission um you know did it, did it was it exciting for you uh do you have you mastered the controls to the point you were just like flying through there with no problem uh you know or or what's been you know your encouragement what would be your encouragement as far as moving forward with the series and continuing on with the story let me know in the comments about the game mechanics do they improve do they change in the next games did did the developer kind of say okay this isn't sticking to the wall as much let's let's fix this or fix that um i would definitely love to learn from you guys a little bit more your thoughts on that and just uh, a lot of you like halo historians out there uh, let me know uh, what changes happened to the game uh, as it continued to evolve and they kept making more of them. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, I've been rambling a really long time. I usually do on these end of series reviews and rants. Uh, if you have stuck around and watched this video throughout this whole point, I love you so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Uh, I don't know how much I'll edit out, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching this series. It's been fun. Uh, overall, it has been a fun experience. Uh, it, enjoying Halo with you guys and I totally see uh, where you know where where the fandom comes from uh, and again I might just be I think I, I think my negativity is just at the last level for me was so dynamically different than the rest of the game and was so hard and then it just felt like a really lackluster climax to something that was building more, much more epically. Uh, so maybe once I've had some time away, I should probably save these reviews for like, wait a week and then go back and think of the game then rather than give you guys my knee jerk reaction after I finish a game. Uh, because, uh, you know, it, it, maybe I need time to think about it a little bit more and get away from the negativity I've got for the last level. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, if you are not already a subscriber to the channel, we're on a road to a thousand, so click that subscribe button and hopefully I didn't lose some subscribers uh, over my rating of, of this last level in this game. Uh, but hopefully you guys will stick with me for the next one. Uh, also, don't forget to join us on Patreon. You can get there by going to this link right here. Guys, thank you again uh, for watching this. It's always a joy to play games with you. I love you so much and I will talk to you soon. But until then, take it easy. Searching for greatness.